When you realize nothing is lacking, the whole world belongs to you. To think in terms of either pessimism or optimism oversimplifies the truth. The problem is to see reality as it is. The feeling that any task is a nuisance will soon disappear if it is done in mindfulness. Only when you can be extremely pliable and soft can you be extremely hard and strong. Zen is not some kind of excitement, but concentration on our usual everyday routine. Each morning, we are born again. What we do today is what matters most. Everything that has a beginning has an ending. Make your peace with that and all will be well. The basic principles of Zen teachings are to relax and be at utmost peace with oneself. Zen is not effort. Effort is tension, effort is work, effort is to achieve something. Zen is not something to achieve. You are already that. Just relax, relax so deeply that you become a revelation to yourself. Throughout this life, you can never be certain of living long enough to take another breath. Awareness is the greatest agent for change. The practice of Zen is forgetting the self in the act of uniting with something. Zen quotes on finding peace of mind. Let go, or be dragged. When thoughts arise, then do all things arise. When thoughts vanish, then do all things vanish. The noble-minded are calm and steady. Little people are forever fussing and fretting. All true artists, whether they know it or not, create from a place of no mind, from inner stillness. To accept some idea of truth without experiencing it is like a painting of a cake on paper which you cannot eat. The resistance to the unpleasant situation is the root of suffering. Do not let the behavior of others destroy your inner peace. Our prime purpose in this life is to help others. And if you can't help them, at least don't hurt them. Smile, breathe and go slowly. Zen quotes on putting life in perspective. To seek is to suffer. To seek nothing is bliss. The real meditation is how you live your life. Wise men don't judge, they seek to understand. One must be deeply aware of the impermanence of the world. Things are as they are. Looking out into the universe at night, we make no comparisons between right and wrong stars, nor between well and badly arranged constellations. Wisdom says we are nothing. Love says we are everything. Between these two our life flows. As a bee gathering nectar does not harm or disturb the color and fragrance of the flower. So do the wise move through the world. Nothing ever exists entirely alone. Everything is in relation to everything else. If you are depressed, you are living in the past. If you are anxious, you are living in the future. If you are at peace, you are living in the present. Old friends pass away, new friends appear. It is just like the days. An old day passes, a new day arrives. The important thing is to make it meaningful, a meaningful friend, 
or a meaningful day. Respect life, revere life. There is nothing more holy than life, nothing more divine than life. This do like life fades away, time speeds swiftly. In this short life of ours, avoid involvement in superfluous things and just study the way. If you miss the present moment, you miss your appointment with life. That is very serious. At the still point in the center of the circle one can see the infinite in all things. Do not dwell in the past, do not dream of the future, concentrate the mind on the present moment. Surrender to what is. Let go of what was. Have faith in what will be. The present moment is filled with joy and happiness. If you are attentive, you will see it. What day is it? asked Pooh. It's today, squeaked Piglet. My favorite day, said Pooh. When you do something, you should burn yourself up completely, like a good bonfire, leaving no trace of yourself. Do not follow the idea of others, but learn to listen to the voice within yourself. And when they played they really played. And when they worked, they really worked. Fear is a natural reaction to moving closer to the truth. Mindfulness isn't difficult, we just need to remember to do it.